Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for September 1st until 7th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. <clears throat> Looks like there is a fire sign that's been like um, giving you a lot more difficulties in life right now. You're already having a hard time um, going through the process, especially if you're with a an older fire sign, and your foundation or your you know your situation right now is already being questioned or you're already having a lot of questions about your relationship where you're going where is this going to take you what has changed or transpired and what can you make out of this some of your ghosts will also um receive some good news okay about them being pregnant now You need to reassess the situation right before you face another option. Because it seems like some of you will, will be dealing with uh, two fire signs. One older and one fire. Now the other one, the older one that you feel like that's been driving you a lot of... Um, you know, that's been driving into a lot of um, failed expectations, failed hopes, and failed promises... But this one is much more stable, okay? Even though you're not really getting what you want in a relationship, or even though you can't really settle for whatever they can provide because your heart still belongs to somebody from the past and that you're still trying to think of, you know, what the, what might have been and what could have been. And then finally, this person from the past, the one that you're still stuck with, is coming in and will be reaching out to you. Now, you don't even know which one you should be choosing or will you still pursue the... Um, the one from the past or will you still continue this life that you've made with the um the one who's in your present life okay one way or the other you will be walking away to one of them and there will be a big transformation or the end of something now at well, the end of your era now financially you are happy and you're you feel stable with this fire sign but the thing here is you will also be discovering that uh, this fire sign is conniving with another fire sign. So it will be a little bit uh, complicated and um, you feel like, why now? Now that I'm pregnant or now that I'm, you know, um, I really want to have a family. Some of you will be thinking about your family or having a family or forming a family or adding up an additional um, member to your family. And some of you will be moving to a new place, will be relocating, buying a new place, selling your properties, or will be rearranging or going for renovation. Okay, like a, putting up an additional bedroom or something like that. Financially, you will be good this week and um, you will still try to hold down your finances or your resources. And um, you will be working on a few things in yourself or by yourself. And I feel like you will be choosing to, you know, to create some changes with this older fire sign rather than go back to the younger fire sign, even though you still have a lot of feelings for this person. Things will be changing rapidly, but it will be like up and down, okay? There are some things this week that you're expecting to happen to get close or to... You know to um to manifest but then there will be some things that will be disappointing you or there will be some delays or there will be some unexpected blockages okay communications will not be also be very good this week so be very careful with the things that you commit say do and with the people that you get in touch to especially the with the transactions that you're going to be doing to them or that you're going to be working with them
Okay. Hmm. Well, financially, and when it comes to your work, it seems like you will be rising and you will be, um, there will be some uh, success completion and achievement that you're going to be getting and doing. However, you will remain walled up and you don't want your, your career to be affected by your love life. Okay, because you're just fully concentrating on the outcomes that you really want to make happen or that you really want to have and do. But then... Hmm. You know, in a relationship, I mean, when it comes to your work, uh, with, with your work life and with your finances, it's slowly, you know, like um, from worse to better, okay? It seems like the clouds are already clearing, path is already showing, and it seems like things are slowly getting much more visible to you right now. But when it comes to your love life or to your family, don't keep on evading or running away from the things that you're supposed to be facing, okay? Because there are some things that you need to... Um, that you need to face on your own. There are some demons that you need to confront, and there are some fears that you need to to uh, resolve and get over or move past. If you will just hold back your feelings, and if you will just try and see what the other person will do, if you don't really show your feelings much, or if you will just, uh, you know, show them that you are holding back then you know nothing is going to happen because the other person won't have any time for little dramas and you're looking for like a little bit of a game and excitement okay because you feel like you've already done everything that you could you know and um you feel like you have contributed much to the relationship <clears throat> and you have done everything that you could to make it work but then you stop right in the middle and then you give that person you know um, like a space of their own to move and uh, create their own effort and create their own compromising actions to, you know, or their own acts of uh, compromise to prove to you that they really want to be with you. But, you know, during this week or actually this week, you will be, um, both of you will be holding back. And those things that you really wanted to see, it's not going to be visible with that kind of action and reaction. Okay? So it will just disappoint you again. <clears throat> you need to change your strategy. And you need to change the way you act or apply your, you know, your uh, skills or your, the way you think in a relationship. Because it's not really going to help. It, it, you are just pushing the other person more. Now, when it comes to your workplace and when it comes to your finances, things will be going well a little bit. Well, there will be some progress and development, but it's not going to be like 100% going well or uh, like a success. Uh, because there are some things and loopholes that you still need to weave your way in and out. And um, eventually, you're going to know what is your um, other life purpose. Okay, there are some things that you wish to happen in your life and that you wish to have um, or to serve as a purpose. And if before this is not really clear, this week you will know what it is that you really want to see and how you are going to be projecting yourself for the next few weeks or months. Some of you who already have a planned travel within the next two days, two weeks, and two months. Um, will be. Hmm, two days, two weeks, and two months will be. Um, hmm, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be. Um, what do you call this? It's not going to, um, you know, plan out the way you want it to be or there will be some delays or you have to, you know, you have to uh, reschedule it because there are some legal stuff that uh, you will get caught up or there are some bank um, transactions that you need to settle first before leaving. 
and that will compromise your work <clears throat> or that will compromise your you know your work life or your trips because it seems like it's only a matter of days that you need to act upon communications this week will also be a little bit disappointing for you and you will be questioning everything or things like why is it that these things are happening to me why is it that there are some things in my life right now that doesn't really seem to work out <clears throat> the way it used to be you're going through a big transformation you need to open up your eyes and open up your mind that not all the time life will always be in favor of you and life will always give you the best of it okay work wise i feel like this is what what's much more important to you right now because even though that there are some things that you are you know not really feel so confident and complete with there are some things in your life that will be making you happy and fulfilled you know let's say for example your finances and your work some of you will be getting a very good opportunity or will be offered a very good position with a very good um, package and some of you will be landing on a training that will lead you to a promotion okay and some of you will be moved to a bigger team to lead and to handle a very significant project that will lead you to another success by next year okay so it's it's like you know one step at a time if there are some things in your life right now that doesn't really work out the way you want it to be be a little bit more patient because if it, eventually you're gonna get there but the way you treat and the way you act in a relationship is definitely not gonna get you anywhere okay don't hold back your feelings because you are the one who will just be at the bitter end of it okay Keep on holding back and keep on banking your feelings. And then later on, when the relationship don't really work out, you're the one who will have a lot of what might have been, what could have been, and a lot of resentments. Okay? Time to be who you really are and open your heart up and open your eyes. All right? Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website, antifeangel.net. Blessings to you.